back to another episode of City Skyline. So today we want to go ahead and get this section built. And if we have time, then we can start rezoning some of this. Now I'm going to have to end up moving this, um, what do you call it? The um, pedestrian way. So I was thinking that we could probably introduce that somewhere on the side here. Um, I know that we're going to have a lot of uh, stuff that we need to do. Now, uh, some of the other things that we had issues with, uh, though it doesn't look like there's issues at the moment, uh, was our industry area wasn't really getting enough workers. But I'm almost wondering if we can maybe get something set up where there's a few different connections um, for uh like buses or something that can get people to here a little bit easier without needing to travel all the way there i think a lot of these cars are actually coming from the industrial way so or from the other city one of the two uh, it does look like there's some cars coming out that way but some of them are also look like in industrial ones like there's a police car there there's jeep so maybe some of these people are going to work or coming from work. So uh, with that being said, that could be contributing to our traffic congestion here. So I was thinking maybe if we put a subway in, uh, we might be able to fit one in somewhere um, to get people kind of centralized to this area. That part's not too important. They can usually walk from there. We might even be able to set up an individual bus line as well. So something a little bit different for them um, to get to all these places so we'll see if we can't do that uh, right now just so once they're here they can travel between places if they need to right so we'll do that first and there's this line that comes along here so we might be able to utilize that somehow and put in a subway system and then connect that up to one of our bus line routes so they'll basically be able to um, get to that location that they need to, right? Okay, so I'm going to go down this road instead uh, because I didn't... It would have been a dead end that way. And then we'll go back up to here. And like that. Now that should cover the industrial area, I think. So, some buses should be leaving at the moment. Uh, I don't expect too much traffic with this route, so once we get the subway system in though, like I need to figure out where the best spot for that would be.
Turns out half our city's burning down. <laughs> I just discovered this. I was like over here looking at this fire and I'm going, why hasn't any fire truck tended to this one house? And then I'm like, oh, oh, I see. Half the city's burning. So yeah, apparently that's uh, happening over there and they're trying to put it out. Looks like it started probably somewhere around in here, no doubt. Uh, we might need to put some fire services in so they can tackle that a little bit easier in that area. And I think something just burnt down. Yeah. You know what we don't have yet is, um, what was it? The da disaster response air, oh, air base is it? No. Unit. Uh, what they can do is they can go and search those kinds of buildings and try to find survivors. It might be worth putting one down somewhere, actually. So, um, we don't have a lot of room left over, but... Oh, we, we do have over here, though, don't we? Might be able to squeeze it in here if we flatten the area a little bit. Um, might take them a little while to get over there, but, you know, they can still do that. Okay, let's go ahead and flatten this. Just flatten this a little bit. Um, just enough to fill this in. Alright, and then we'll go to here. I don't know how much is that's going to cost. Only 15000 that's not too bad. For the size of the building, right? So hopefully they can send somebody out to check that building. Not sure if they'll do that right now. Yeah, they're sending somebody out. Okay. Preferably would have been better through helicopter, but that's alright. Um, they'll go to that deserted building or that collapsed building and they'll check it and hopefully there'll be survivors. I'm not sure how many there possibly could be, but it can also help with the rebuilding process as well. Ooh, those buildings are really bad. Those high skyscrapers are still on fire. I might have one or two more buildings collapse. They did put out that house fire though. A little worse for wear, but it's, it's, it survived. Alright, anyhow, I got this uh, little area built up too. So we have that little neighborhood uh, residential area. We might put a commercial one on this side or in some other location maybe.
our city on the side is doing really good. Uh, looks like traffic flow is actually doing really good too. So we got some bicycle lanes on the main arteries. So we have these ones. We also, I put in a, um, basically a service area where emergency vehicles and stuff can go between these two areas. I figured that would probably be good for not only allowing pedestrians to go through, but service vehicles like ambulances, dump trucks, fire engines, things like that, uh, which will <clears throat> make it a lot easier to get to their destinations and stuff like, okay, maybe not the recycling trucks. I don't know if the, that will actually be able to, but as you can see, pedestrians are using it as well now. So. And then we hooked up the um, subway system over here, so there should be a little bit more traffic around the city um, to get to there as well. And now I'm thinking about moving the park, this park here, uh, over to this area, which is a little bit bigger. And uh, we're going to keep our elder care and um, child care uh, in this area. I figure that would probably be a good location for it. And uh, my, my end plan is to get the main avenue all the way up to this point and hopefully that will help with the traffic flow because it kind of just branches off and then we're going to have to restructure our uh, logging industry a little bit and all that stuff. But after that, then we can start tackling this side a little bit more, um, but I'm, I'm been following the plan that we've been doing and it seems to be working really fine so traffic over here is like not that congested at all so it's it should be working the only part that is congested still is over here and that's because a lot of people are trying to get over onto this side so i think once we move this avenue up to here it should be a little bit easier for traffic um, just because it's too short of an intersection, I think that might be the problem. And, you know, all these people are trying to turn over at the same time. So hopefully that will help. And then we'll have like a intersection over on this part, I think, uh, that goes down to this part. So we'll see if we can't put that in. But right now I'm going to be focusing on the park, trying to get that all set up. And we'll see if we can't, uh, bridge that over. So... Let's go into the park. Oh, no, zoning and then to the park. And then we can just bring that over. Try to draw a straight line. And instantly we can see that people are already happy because we have these, uh, that zone there. That doesn't actually seem quite logical because we don't even have a park here yet. <laughs>
So I got the next area ready for next episode. So we'll be expanding this line down here. And I figure what we'll do is we'll bring the avenue all the way up to this point, uh, which means we're going to have to remove some of the forest industry a little bit and in order to get it working. I removed the other park as well, so that's ready for uh, development. And then I figure once we get to about here, uh, we'll be able to, well, maybe about here, uh, we'll bring it up to that general road and then we'll have all that area where people can get onto the main avenue and stuff I think that would be fair enough for these the amount that's spaced out now once we get this part all set up and removed and everything like that then it should move a lot smoother because they're going on to a main avenue or main like street and then they're going on to an avenue and then it's on to like main artery streets which should be less backed up once we get everything set up a little bit. I also put a subway system over here so people have direct access to the park itself and it's been leveling up quite fast actually so um, because we removed the main gate from the other location it reset to the first level but I mean we're still making quite a bit of profit from it so it's no big def deal. Um, outside of that, uh, put a post office in and a few other things, but um, mainly just focusing on uh, getting that part smoothed out, ready for next episode. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.